Hello and welcome to a Dragon PMA tutorial. Now I apologise for those people who are looking for Mac tutorials. Although I am using a Mac, I'm going to be um, doing a few Final Cut. Well, not necessarily Final Cut Pro. Um, not. I've I was given this Final Cut Pro from a company, and it's not necessarily the newest one. So things might have changed from now until later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some little Final Cut. Pro um, snippets, some basic stuff, nothing too advanced for those who want to get into Final Cut Pro and learn how to edit it. Um, like I've said in the past, um, there's two ways to edit. One is technically, this is using the programs and the hardware to your advantage, and also creatively, that's editing to make people laugh or to make people cry or to make people think that, oh my gosh, this was a terrible film. Sorry, but you're not a very good editor. So if you think you can edit creatively, um, but you can't edit technically then you've come well yeah then you've come to the right place because I can't teach you the creative side anyway so um, I thought some somebody out there well a few people actually has been wanting um, Final Cut Pro tutorials because I don't really know how to use it um, to its full potential um, and to be honest I can't show you because it's just too much too big a program so I'm going to show you some basics basics to get people started okay so Basically, you have three windows, the browser, the viewer, and the canvas um, on the top. And on the bottom is your timeline. If you have two screens, because um, you are a professional, then the browser is usually like pure maxed out like this on the second screen. So you can see all of your footage, especially for big, big, big projects. Um, yeah. So uh, these two are usually in uh, like, just like, you know like this do 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 obviously a bit bigger and then fill the middle kind of do you know what I mean um, I'll just press what was it alt U no it wasn't alt shift U just shift U control U I can't remember summing U there control U control U always sets the windows back to its default right so um, basically what you do is you import your footage into here, you watch it into here, you drag it into here, then you edit it here and view the finished product here. Way! That's it in a nutshell. Using these tools down the right hand side, these ones for editing, um, all the way down to this pen, and this one for sound. Uh, I don't really use this much, but you know. Um, so yeah, this everything is displayed, but well, most of the stuff is displayed here. Um, in this uh, browser, you've got an effects bin for all kinds of audio and video effects um <clears throat> and that's it that's how you work that's your workspace voila well done tutorial almost finished okay so what do you do you import footage into here either right click control click on a single click mouse and import files or a folder if you've got like a folder with lots of files in so I'll just go files and go to the desktop and import dragonpme.dv and there we have stuff. What if I want a sound? Import files, and then I just go look for a sound file. Um, Paul Apple, uh, go down to um, sounds and import swish.eif. Uh, what if you don't like doing going through the menus like that, like I don't usually do, and you want to be kind of a little bit more clever or personal? What I like to do is press F11 to go straight to your desktop, like so. Find something you want. Um, I'll just get another sound if I must. bboy.mp3, click and drag, press F9, take the browser F9 again and drop it in. And you see it's in the list and you can just, you know, ta-da. Right, maybe that was a long way around or whatever. What With Final Cut Pro you'll find there's more than one way to skin a cat. So, what do you do once you've got your footage you, or, and your sounds and stuff like that? You drag it into the timeline, like so, and you drag the sound into the timeline, like so, and then you can see our output here. Or, if it's a big, long piece of footage, you can double-click it, take it to the viewer, and then mark in and out points by clicking here. This is an in point. Sorry, no. I lie um, here, in point, and go to there, out point and you will see you just get that little bit of footage here that tiny little in and out bit or in effect you can press i on the keyboard i for in and o for out and do the same again there um, also if you want to lay stuff on the timeline you can drag it here and go insert um, insert with transition overwrite overwrite with transition replace so and fill and superimpose these things um, 
will affect your timeline in different ways. So for example, if I have footage to the right of my spacer bar thingamajig, I take it and go overwrite. That means this piece of footage will overwrite the one on the currently on the timeline. So if you look, I have, I'll drag that about that much. If you mark with your fingers about a finger space worth of footage <laughs> and then click overwrite and it overwritten. As you can see, our marker thing went to the end of the footage. Shame it was the same footage, otherwise you will be able to tell it was overwritten. And also, uh, insert would make it so there was two. So that one went in front of the other one and just pushed it to the right. And also, what's next? Replace. Replace. Um, just kind of replaces what's there already. So it's kind of like overwrite, really. Um, um, fit to fill, etc. You can have a play with them if you wish. Yeah, to d delete stuff on the timeline, select it and press backspace. Um, or delete if you want everything to the right of that to shift to the left. Um, right, and I think I'll finish for there. For these uh, tutorials, I've taught you how to input, place, and basically to play, you press spacebar. If you can see, there's a little red line, and you'll have to render by pressing Alt and R on the keyboard, or you could go up to, um, uh, I can't remember if I'm honest, uh, sequence, render, then click that, both. See, Apple R is to render anything that you've selected, or render all is Alt R. So I like to render the lot, the whole shabam, by pressing Alt and R, or you can go into this menu and click that. But keyboard shortcuts, keep the keyboard shortcuts in mind, okay? So, okay, actually, one last thing um, before I leave you is, um, um, where is it? Where is it? Um, it's keyboard shortcutty stuffs. I really want to show you it, but if I'm honest, I don't have a clue where it is. Um, basically, there's an option here in Final Cut Pro somewhere where you can bring up like the keyboard, like a, a virtual keyboard, and it tells you what everything. It's like, have you seen um, them editing keyboards where on each key actually tells you what it does? So, like for example, um, A would make you do the selection tool, and P would make you use the pen. I oh, wait, no, V. I can't remember. Oh no, uh, blah, blah, blah. it's all gone wrong. I and O's in and out and K, J and L is play, but rewind and fast forward, all that stuff. Window, window, window. I don't think it's that. Uh, I'm sure it's in tools. I'm sure it is in tool. Button list, is that it? No, that's not it. Um, keyboard, ah, keyboard layout. Go to tools, keyboard layout, customize. And you'll see uh, it shows you what it does. So Z is magnify, um, C is crop, V is to paste like on the timeline, B is to cut in the middle, like to, to slice your footage, H is a hand tool, A is like to simply to go back to your normal tool, P is I was right, the pen tool, in and out, all that rubbish. So you could like kind of print that if you want to get um, a basic um, layout of your keyboard, and obviously you can change them in there as well. So yeah. I hope you've learned something. Um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry if you're not a Final Cut Pro fan or you're not bothered about Final Cut. Uh, really, you shouldn't have watched this. And if you have, <laughs> well, maybe you, you'll think, oh, Final Cut looks pretty good. I might go out and buy it. It's about £150 for students. Um, and if you want to go like proper pro pro, it'll be about £500. But I'm going to get that later if I get a, if I get a job, etc. But anyway, yes. Um, I hope you've learned something. Um, if you have any questions about what I've said, please leave a comment or send me a message or an email, dragonpayme at gmail.com. More than welcome. Um, I'm sorry I've only covered a little bit. There should be more Final Cut Pro tutorials in the future. Um, yeah, have fun. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.